watching Oink Cluck Moo, All Things Barbecue. Today we're going to go ahead and look at the science of the fire dial. So what is the fire dial? Well, let's explore it and figure out what the benefits are. All right, you're probably asking yourself, all right, tell me more about this fire dial. Well, what the hell is it? Well, hopefully I can answer that question for you today. Um, so besides looking like a, an old sundial from the Mayan ruins, it actually serves a really good purpose. Um, this is something that you're going to be placing in your Weber smoker and you'll place it where the water pan would be. Um, it diffuses your heat. It will even out the temperature in your smoker. So you don't need the water pan if you start using this. Um, I know you might have some fears, but I'm a huge fanatic of this entire uh, product. I mean, this thing is awesome. So, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting carried away here. So let's start by drawing a picture of the Weber smoker. So everybody knows what the Weber smoker looks. All right. So I'm going to take out that. And we're going to draw the insides down. So here we go. Drawing where the water pan would be. So that is the water pan, not the fire dial. So what happens is your coals, the heat, will actually hit the water pan and deflect to the outer walls of your Weber smoker. Oh, I can't forget my probe port with my eye grill. All right. So the temperatures will be directed to the outside of the smoker, traveling upward, rolling around. Yep. Got to draw the smoke. Smoke has to come out. Blue smoke. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. But the heat will roll around, giving you a pretty good temperature on your upper grate. It really will. So you have really hot temperatures down below where your coals are, obviously, and it'll get cooler as it goes up top. However, in the meantime, you have a major void happening on your lower cooking grate. So let's see what happens when you take out the water pan and we put our build in with the fire dial. So let me reconstruct the smoker here, put in my lower cooking grate, and then right below that's a fire dial. And um, yeah, I inserted the fire dial. Very good, Jeremy. All right, awesome job. Okay, so. Um, now, your heat, your smoke, all that will be going and passing right through the fire dial, right up to the top. What, what happens here? It's a result of even cooking temperatures because all of your heat is going to pass right through your entire cook chamber. Another perk you're going to get is the smell. The, the fat dripping down onto your fire dial is going to create a delicious, delicious smell. But more importantly, you are going to get consistent temperatures from your top grate, your probe port, and your bottom grate. That is what is most important with this. So the fire dial, it allows for even temperatures. I'm going to hit that home with you. Um, it's going to be a better result with cooking. And most importantly, you're going to get a better fuel consumption. Now let's take a look at the maintenance and how easy this is going to be. All right, so all you have to do is grab a couple um, old spackle blades. Obviously, I sped up the video here a little bit, but spackle blades, tape knives, whatever you call them, uh, just go grab a pair. Uh, it's easy to grab a pair. That way you can scrape the grease off of them. And uh, then you just scrape all the all the soot and grease off the fire dial into your coals and dispose of your coals. It's that simple. Let's take a look at these tabs everybody talks about. If you like to run your smoker at hotter temperatures, 325 degrees Fahrenheit and plus, uh, simply bend the tabs upright and this will allow for more heat to pass into your cook chamber. Uh, this is something that you can do if you are one of the hot and fast type cookers. Find out what works for you and keep that adjustment set. Thanks for watching Oink Cluck Moo All Things Barbecue. If you liked what you saw, click like and subscribe and feel free to share with your friends. If you'd like your own fire dial, please visit bbqsmokermods.com.